officials need your help in, in finding specialized collars used to track fishers. The state has had an ongoing research project, and now some of those collars are just dropping off those animals. NBC 10's Tebby Toba Adelaide explains what to do if you find one. They're pretty secretive, they're very shy. They are properly called fishers, but New Englanders like to call them fisher cats but they're not a feline in the slightest. They get a bad reputation and they're really interesting animals. Fishers are a small carnivore that resemble weasels. The Department of Environmental Management is concerned about their numbers across Rhode Island. We're seeing maybe fewer of them or it's, it's kind of unclear as to what's going on with their populations. We have reduced um, the bag limit or the, the number of fisher that uh, trappers can take. DEM partnered with the University of Rhode Island to trap and release more than 50 fishers between 2021 and 2023. The fishers were wearing GPS tracking collars like this to track the animal's movement, giving each one a name. And peaches went from Cumberland all the way down south through the state into Connecticut, looped back and then went back up to Cumberland where she had um, her babies, her kits uh, later that year. So they travel far and wide. But many of their callers have fallen off and DEM needs your help to find them and retrieve the stored data. So this is a way that we can get that information uh, from the caller and then she can create maps of uh, the fisher uh, ranges. So if you see a collared fisher, call it in. If you see a caller, call it in. Call it in. Yeah, so double check uh, to make sure that that collar actually looks like the Fisher collar and it's not, you know, a dog collar. Um, and then you can call it in. The DEM hopes the location data stored in the collar can help explain why Fishers may be in decline. Time to talk about Alaya, NBC 10 News.